The key to using the CPT-12U tool is to know when to stop applying forward pressure and release the drill's trigger. You will first see the cable's jacket fly out of the tool. Then you will see the dielectric and a long strip of copper shield fly out. At this point, drilling is complete. Reverse the rotation and pull the tool off the cable. Now here's the same technique in slow motion. I slowed the video down to 25% of regular speed and right away you can see the jacket fly out. And a few seconds later you can see the dielectric and some of the copper shield fly out. The copper shield hangs on. You can barely see it in the video. Uh, in real life you will be able to see it. And you can see it now that I stopped. And I put the drill in reverse and remove the tool. If you do not have the CPT-12U tool, another method to strip the cable is to use the Easy Axe cable prep tool. Place the cable inside the Easy Axe so that the groove closest to the jacket fits on the notch inside the Easy Axe tool. With gentle pressure, make several rotations and let the blades do the work. Squeezing too hard may crush the shield. Once this task is complete, use a utility knife and cut the jacket parallel to the cable. Now you can peel off the jacket. Next make some space between the shield. The Easy Axe tool did not cut all the way through the dielectric so you'll have to use a utility knife to finish off the cut. Try not to nick the center conductor. And now you can pull off the front end. Now you need to use the gauge that came with the connector to cut the center conductor to the correct length. Use both ends of the gauge to align your hacksaw for a straight cut. The next step is to take a file and taper the inner conductor. Here is a comparison of the results from using the Easy Axe tool and the CPT-12U tool. Because a file had to be used to taper the center conductor, the taper may not be as nice. Secondly, the outer conductor has been slightly bent, possibly the result 
of applying too much pressure while rotating the Easy Axe tool. This is not a critical bend, but is an example of how careful you must be while using the Easy Axe cable prep tool. The CPT12U tool leaves a perfect taper on the center conductor, a nice round outer conductor, and no filing or hacksaw cut is required. After your cable is prepped, you should see half a ring to a full ring near the jacket and six complete grooves. One, two, three, four, five, six. At the front, you must see no more than half a ring. If you have a full ring, the threads on your connector head will not catch the threads on the connector body. Once the proper dimensions have been achieved, it is time to move on to the next step, and that is to place the, the O-ring onto the final groove near the jacket, and then place the body of the connector onto the cable, And then you have your spring ring and the CPTICT12U tool. Place the spring ring onto the most forward groove. And then use the tool to compress the dielectric foam. A couple of turns should do it and you can see that this tool does a good job of compressing the foam. Next, clean any debris left on the dielectric with a brass brush. Place the center conductor into the connector head. It's a bit of a tight fit. Next, get the thread started with your hands. And while holding the connector head steady with a 21 millimeter wrench, turn the connector body with a 19 millimeter wrench. Only a quarter turn is needed. 